The flood water begins to recede in Houston. We are getting a better picture of the scope of the disaster there. Some 100,000 homes suffering damage. About 170,000 are still without power. Schools in Houston, though, will now start on September 11th, about two weeks late. ABC's Tom Yamas is there in Houston this morning for us. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. The Houston mayor says the city is mostly dry and open for business, but not for everyone. You can see that just behind me. The boats are still out in this area and the search is still on. 19 still missing in the Houston area. In Houston, first responders going door to door. Watch here as they fight a fire in chest deep waters to rescue a family from a burning home. Walk that curb, guys. Fire hydrant. Going underwater to connect the hose. We're, we're about a hose short right now. Using a boat's engine to propel water onto the flames. One firefighter in this rescue mission injured. Right now we're in the Piney Point section of Houston and you can see all the water still on the ground here. But take a look at this. Even though Houston has turned a corner, there are so many neighborhoods still flooded out. But the rescue effort is so difficult because the area is so widespread. Outside teacher Michelle Hayes' home, her students are helping her not only clean up, but gut the part of her home flooded by Harvey. Didn't even have to call. They just showed up. It's unreal. I feel like this isn't even my home. It's, some, it's something I never thought would happen. This is her video, and that's her home when the water started to rise. This photo shows what she saw when she opened her son's room, who was sleeping in his toddler bed less than three feet off the floor. Seeing the water at my son's mattress and having to tell my children to put on bathing suits and life jackets because we need to leave our home, is something I see every time I look at them. As for the tens of thousands in shelters like Aisha Nelson, who we met earlier this week, there's no end in sight. We don't know what's next for us. We don't know how long this, we're going to be able to stay in this shelter. I want to leave the shelter, but there's nowhere for to go. All right, we also want to mention that chemical plant in the Houston area that had fires and explosions. A 1.5 mile perimeter remains in effect. The EPA says they have tested the smoke in that area. And as of right now, there is no cause for concern. Dan. Tom, thank you. That teacher talking about the water reaching her toddler's mattress. Truly scary. Tom Yamas has been leading our coverage all week. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Michael Strahan here, and I want to thank you for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, all you got to do is click on the right over here, okay, right there, to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thank you for watching.